I'm sat here today with Derek Mann, a gentleman I know needs no introduction because he's well known in the business community, in the sports community, and the, for the last year he's represented Derbyshire because he's been the Ice Sheriff of Derbyshire. Derek, how has this year been for you? It's been great, Joe. The High Sheriff his principal responsibility is to represent the judiciary and the legal system. But it's more than that. You get to meet lots of very special people in Derbyshire. Get to places that you wouldn't normally be. And in our year this year, we've tried very hard to identify those unsung heroes who make Derbyshire really work, who do that extra mile selflessly to make things happen. It's been a great year and we feel very privileged to have done it. But one of those groups of unsung heroes where the street passes, and you spent a night out with them in Chester. Yes, it was Saturday night on the bank holiday weekend. We didn't know what we would find when we went out, but we saw town centre at its best and people enjoying themselves to the full, often fueled by a bit too much alcohol. But the street pastors are there and they take the tension out of that town centre. If you get um, two men who look a bit aggressive, they produce a lollipop to make them suck that rather than swear at each other. If a young lady breaks her six inch heels, they give her a pair of flip flops so that she doesn't uh, hurt her feet. But they also protect those that are likely uh, to be in danger. Uh, they're a wonderful group of people. Um, they turn out at 10.30 on a Saturday and Friday nights and go home at four o'clock. If it wasn't for them, we would have many more problems than we would in town centre. Right. We're still with communities because the Spyrites are a community. Yes. They are a, a centrepiece, really, in our community. How did you hear of the project they're doing with the um, Remembrance Garden? Well, I saw it um, advertised or mentioned in the, in the local press, but uh, also several brought it to my attention as a very important project that I am very keen to support. This is a great project for a community such as uh, Chesterfield Football Club are uh, going to be able to put a memorial for those special individuals who sacrificed the ultimate to ensure that we can enjoy the leisure that we now do at our stadium. There's some that may say that the football stadium is not the right place for a memorial garden. What would you say to that? Oh, I think it is absolutely the right place. I think we should never forget as we sat there enjoying the freedom and the level of leisure that we now have in our lives, we should remember those that sacrificed their selves, the ultimate sacrifice to ensure that we have that facility to be able to do that. Now, the Spyrites are one of the few clubs in the country to have one of these memorial gardens yeah. or any memorial. Do you think that their efforts are going to encourage other clubs? I hope so. Because we should never forget, if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be able to participate in sport. And football is the heart of all of our community. We're better to actually celebrate and allow us to remember those that have fallen to ensure that we can enjoy that leisure. And now you had any feedback from what the uh, public feel and how the funding is going? I haven't heard one negative comment. In fact, I think everybody's very positive and very supportive. And I hope they get behind this, Joe, and make sure that this is a success by contributing towards its establishment. With proper funding, the way we're going, we won't hope that this would be finished before Remembrance Sunday, so it wouldn't detract from other services that go around the country. If we can get it finished and get it dedicated before then, would you? attend the service? Oh, I would be honoured to attend. It's very special. It's a very special year in remembrance as well. I do hope we get this done by the time uh, that uh, the remembrance service has happened this year, yes. Yeah. Well, actually, on, on the, the remembrance garden, it's going to be people who have given life in the First World War, Second World War and conflict since. Do you think this is appropriate in this centenary year for the First World War? Absolutely. As I've said, you know, we need to remember that people who have made the ultimate sacrifice, it's easy for us to be sat in our armchairs uh, and forget about the conflict that people have. Just remember those guys who are still on active service duty now. We need to remember them and those before them uh, to ensure that we 
remember that without their sacrifice, we would not be as comfortable and in such a safe society as we are now. And your message out to the public is we need to remember. We definitely need to remember. We should never uh, ignore the importance of remembering those that have enabled us to enjoy what we have today. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Joe.